starting at Saturday Night Live, was that, your, was that like your first big job out of the gate in New York? I'm, I'm sure you had other stuff you were doing, but was that like the first, oh my goodness, job? It was definitely probably one of the biggest at the time. You know, it was definitely a, 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 a career move that I had never imagined, you know, as a kid growing up uh, and watching it on TV, being a fan. Mm. Um, so, yes, that was probably one of my biggest, certainly my, my biggest move into television, yes. Music or otherwise, who was the first person that you encountered that you just sort of went, oh, my God, that's whoever? Bruce Springsteen was a pretty memorable uh, encounter. Yeah, there's no small potatoes there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, he performed on our show a few times. Yeah. Uh, met him backstage. Uh, my brother came to the show, and he's a big fan, so it was a, it was a big day for, for, for all of us. Yeah, I yeah. can imagine. What, uh, what does your day look like when you're, when you're doing your day job at yeah. The Tonight Show? Yeah. What, how, does it, how does it start? How does it end? What's, what's the meat of it? I'm the music mixer on the show, so uh, what you hear on television passes through my console, through my ears, and what you hear is uh, sort of my best approach to what the, the band should sound like. So when the guest bands perform on the show, uh, we get there around 9 in the morning, they load in with their instruments, and we do a sound check and a rehearsal, make sure it all sounds great. And then uh, in the afternoon, we rehearse comedy. That's when uh, Mr. Fallon will come. You guys get to rehearse comedy? <laughs> Jeez, we do. what a luxury. We do, we get to rehearse. Um, sometimes you always want one more rehearsal, but time, time is limited, so. I would kill for one. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll rehearse in the afternoon, and, uh, and uh, the Roots, the house band, will come to the floor, and we'll, um, we'll hear what they're gonna sound like that day, and then tape our show at five. And, yeah. then, uh, and then out the door by seven, 7.30, and it's on the air that night. That's amazing. I, I happened to be there one day, mm -hmm. Uh, and you were kind enough to, to chat with me, but yeah. there, was, there was a server, what, an ingest issue? Oh. I had one of those earlier today, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I had some bad fish. Uh, there was an ingest issue, and I don't remember all the ins and outs, but I, I remember thinking, we've dealt with stuff like this, yeah. and you deal with stuff like this, yeah. and it just sort of opened my eyes to, okay, all right, we're all sort of maybe on different scales, but we're dealing with a similar technical issue that we have to find a workaround. There's a ton of technology on the video side, on the audio side, and uh, wireless technology, and so it's inevitable that something's going to fail. In this business, you, you just accept that that's gonna happen, but you do have a backup plan, you have redundancy, you have professionals on standby who can come in and help uh, in, in the heat of the moment when needed. Mm. And um, when the show is live, like SNL, it's even more so because everything has to work, there is no stopping and taking a break or pausing for technical difficulties. Right. It keeps moving forward. Yeah, so, you know, I wouldn't say it's a regular occurrence, but it happens enough that we all are prepared for the inevitable and, um, and, and make, make the best of it, make the most of it, and, and get back on the horse as soon as we can. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we, we make no secret about the fact here that uh, the reason why the show looks so good and sounds so good is because of students and staff at the New England School of Communications at Hudson University. <laughs> they do great work. Yeah. Um, this is your first time here, and you've been kind enough to spend the day with the students and with some of the staff as well. What similarities do you see that the students are working on here through NESCOM and Hudson University that you deal with every day at 30 Rock? Uh, I, I did get to spend a good chunk of the day with, with the team and, and shadow them as they were preparing to do this show and see the facilities, tour the facilities. We had a great lunch together, and, and I got to ask them some questions, and they asked me some questions. So yes, it was a wonderful day here. And the similarities are, 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 are quite uh, profound. What you're doing here as far as the workflow, the infrastructure, all the different positions for video and camera and audio are exactly what we do back home mm. on, uh, on, on our show and all the shows at 30 Rock. Um, it's a really terrific program here and, and people are getting the real world experience that is very hard to get outside of, of working professionally. So kudos wow. to all you guys. That's good to hear. Yeah. That's really good to hear.